we're out walking all on our own. And where's your daddy? <laughs> His daddy's right here. Is there something you want to say to him, Wimp? Uh, hello, Jakala. <laughs> Ah, uh, the, the kid had something. Uh, there, that's better. Yes, uh, who forgot to wash his muzzle this morning? You see, it's exactly like I said. No observation of the natural setting, no method, and finally, no dinner. Here in front of you, you have the perfect example of a bad hunter. That's why you've got to learn not to end up like that loser, famished. Ooh, but it's not fair. Why me? My brothers are on their own, taking it easy at the swamp. Mm. Don't worry, my little crocodile. The lucky little fellows will also get an individual lesson. Or oh, my name's not Chakala. I'm not going to feed you forever. You must learn to take care of yourselves. <laughs> A red panda! A, a crane! A crane! Or, more exactly, a crane's cry of alarm at the approach of a predator. Good! I see that everyone's been following well. You'll soon know everything about the meaning of animal cry. Some cries are real calls for help. And that was the distress call of what kind of animal? It was the cry of an old bear who has a very bad back. Hello, Baloo. Hmm. Can we have a word with you? Of course! How are... Because it can't go on like this. Babies need some peace and quiet, not this racket. But I didn't even know they'd been born. Congratulations! Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Shouting, noise, honestly. Those aren't the conditions for bringing up a family. Really? But, uh, it was... <sighs> We're sorry to have disturbed the little ones during their nap. Ah! <sighs> While I rest my back here, you will go and play somewhere else. Lesson number one. I'm waiting. We observe the surroundings. <laughs> I observe the surroundings. It's not fair. There's no games today. No sliding in the mud. Yeah, really not fair. And it's all because of Guzzlegut's private lesson. Well, my little crocodiles, don't we say hello to Tobacco Nanny anymore? That's rubbish. Our dad, Jakala, never said anything about a nanny. Especially not a hairy one. <laughs> but it was the great Jakala in person who asked me to look after you while he gives Guzzleguts his private lesson. Hey, we can look after ourselves. We crocodiles are the kings of the swamp. Haven't you seen our teeth? Yes, not too good. Well, if I've understood your father, you are still not able to hunt or defend uh, uh, yourselves. Uh, I'd be surprised if he told you that, you jackal. That's how you speak to your nanny. <laughs> Can you hear it? <laughs> Hello, Tabaki. <laughs> what are you doing with Chompa? Off you go. We'll carry on with this later. Jakala asked me to look after them while he was away. I was just teaching them how to get rid of a predator. Wasn't I, kids? Yes, 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 Tabakinani. Yes, Your Tabakinani? How long have you been doing this? I'm impressed. Is it difficult? Could you teach me how to do it? Of course, with pleasure. For example, we can learn to wag our tails, can't we? We can lick our fur, too. What do we do when we haven't got any fur? Whoops, sorry. Uh, no, that's for the other kids I look after, the furry kids. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, ah. I really thought they'd never leave. Right now it's your turn. Lesson number three. <laughs> Discreetly approach the prey. Did you really think we were going to believe your story about being a nanny? You coward! Attacking defenceless little babies! What do you mean? My poor jaws aren't strong enough to chew through crocodile skin. Don't take me for a fool, Tabaki. You're lying and I can prove it. May I? <laughs> you saw how soft his stomach is. Your fangs could bite through that with no problem. <laughs> 
I want to be with Daddy Jakarta and Guzzle Guts hunting turtles. Uh -oh. For the love of a bear, remember that at their age you need to run and play. You'll see. Our babies will do the same much quicker than you think. We've got to stop Jakala from attacking the turtles, but we can't leave the kids on their own. I want to go home. Oh, we are at home, stupid. Hey, silence. I'm trying to think. Not bad. You've managed to shut them up. Right. We'll take everyone along with us. Uh, can I go now? I'm only going to hold you up. Well, well. Do you think you can get away like that? We'll deal with you later. <laughs> right, little croc. You're in luck. The parents are on the bank and the kids are asleep. Lesson number... No! I don't want to hunt babies. I don't want to eat something that's got a shell. That's disgusting. A crocodile going to the sea Said goodbye to his little children in the dust He dragged his feet because the turtles he was to fight Ah, oh, the crow, 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 ah, oh, the crow, crow, crow Ah, oh, the crocodile to the shores of an isle they've gone That's the story of their plight Aw, oh, look, they're just so cute Go on, one each, it's not that difficult She smiled at me I can't eat an animal that smiles at me. <gasps> Don't go. Jakala will... Oh, ow! Oh, my back! Crow, 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 To the shores of an isle they've gone. That's the story of the prize. It was something in the woods so clear. The words you with great pride. The words you with great pride. He opened his mouth, oh, and fear. Of course not. Don't worry, we're taking care of it. I've got to help Mowgli. Can you keep an eye on them, Boo? Jacola's kids? Are you crazy? Ah! Ah! I'll never be able to do it. I'm not strong enough. We need something to keep his mouth open. Wait! <gasps> My baby! Dad's eating guzzle guts! Shh, shh, it's going to be all right. Mowgli will save everyone. Are you going to open your mouth or not? <gasps> For the love of a bear, you've unblocked my back. <laughs> Thank you, Mowgli. What was it like inside? Was it dark? Weren't you afraid of being eaten? Huh, no way. I expected it. That's lesson number one. Absorb the parameter. Aren't you ashamed of yourself attacking babies? A big fellow like you. I wanted to teach my kids how to hunt, but it's not easy to find a prey the right size for them. Ooh. I'm sorry. That's not what I wanted to say. I won't do it again. But Tobacco Nanny wanted to eat us all. Really? <laughs> I wanted to prove to myself that I could hunt, but I can't even catch a field mouse. <laughs> Hold me back, or I'll get him. Don't be dad. <gasps> what did you think you were doing? You left your children alone when there are predators everywhere. Where were you? Yes, well, all of that wouldn't have happened if we hadn't been sent to play elsewhere. Noise, my friends, also means life. <laughs> 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 no, 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 there 
it hurts. <laughs> That's the point. And aloe vera is a great remedy for thumps. Oh, it doesn't hurt anymore. Well done, Balu. See, it really was more fear than pain. Hey, wait a sec. I deserve compensation for this bump. You owe me a bone, a big one. How convenient. Exactly what you owe me for my remedy. <laughs> Bagheera can hand the bone straight over to me. Hello. I need your help. What's wrong, Gajini? A sick child? No, it's hearty. <laughs> Gajini, children, I'm home. But, Daddy, we're here. And this isn't our home. This is where the monkeys live. Hita, Hapu, my little darling. <laughs> Hattie doesn't recognize where he is, nor who he's with. Looks like the symptoms of someone who has eaten poisonous cliff mushrooms. It must be that. Hattie went off to eat berries that grow at the foot of the cliff. Will he recover? If we treat him quickly, yes. But if we wait too long, he could stay like this forever. <laughs> Time for your bath now. Let's see how clean your trunks are. <sighs> There's only one way to cure Hattie. He must eat blue mountain flowers as soon as possible, just after they've been picked. Hattie? Huh? I'm taking you away for a blue flower cure. A cure? Gajini, my dear. Did you hear what this old turtle just said? <laughs> As if I were ill. Well, in fact, you're in peak condition. Mommy, he totally lost his mind. Well, uh, I'm off now, everyone. Uh, I'm going to meet up with a friend who's passing through the area. He's called Parker. Parker? But he's my brother. Can I come with you? Hmm. Well, okay. Nice one, Mowgli. I'm amazed that you're friends with Parker. I thought he didn't like warthogs. Isn't that funny, Rana? I'm huh? going away with Rana. Ah. To be good with Mummy. Huh? Goodbye, darling. Ah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Khan. I have great news. Old Hearty no longer recognizes anyone. The truly great news would be that he's in the elephant graveyard. Think about it, Master. If Hearty doesn't recognize anyone, he could mistake you for a friend. I could approach him without awakening suspicion. One less rival. See what great news it is? Don't you agree that's worth a bone as a reward? You will get a bow when Hati is no longer of this world. Show me where you saw the old fool. Uh-huh. Right away, Master. Don't worry. Hati will be completely better when he gets back. Good luck, Mowgli. Be careful. Everything will be fine, Gajini. While Hattie's away, Bagheera and I are here to protect you. That's not what worries me. I'm frightened that Hattie will never be himself again. <laughs> Where is Hattie? Tell me before this one finishes up as a snack. Hattie has gone to the mountains. He's going to pick flowers for his brother, but he'd be better off taking care of himself. <laughs> ah, can't let this golden opportunity slip past. Well, chimps, guess who Shere Khan's very best friend is? <laughs> <laughs> Not a steep climb, and I'm already exhausted. Go on. <laughs> Faster. My friend Shere Khan was very clear before he left. If you don't obey my every command, he'll devour you. Fast. So, about that bone, Marsha. Is it for today or tomorrow? It's coming! It's coming! Yep. 
yummy. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> A coconut! Party! No! That's a beehive! Ugh. That taste stings a little! Party, you know everything! How can you escape a beehive if you can't jump into the water? Bees? <laughs> Poor Rana, you're hallucinating! <sighs> Of course, the usual way to escape them is to jump in the water. If you're the one bothering them, that is. Because otherwise, you just stay still and don't move a muscle, and there's nothing to worry about. The river doesn't look too solid. It doesn't matter if we fall into water, I can swim. Party! Hurry up! Faster! Jakala is coming! Jakala? Who is that again? The crocodile! He grabs you by the tail! A crocodile? Are you certain? That sounded like a buffalo. We'd better hurry. Parker won't wait for us. I'm thirsty. Can we take a drink at the river, Mum? I'm going with them. Evil monkeys! Once Shere Khan has dealt with Hati, he'll take care of the lot of you. What do you mean, dealt with Daddy? <laughs> ah! The wet coyotes taste dreadful. Shere Khan is going to attack Hati. Huh? Blue mountain flowers. Parker. Where is my brother, Rana? Not far away. Warthog's honor. So, he thinks Mowgli's a warthog. <laughs> this will be child's play. Here, Hearty. Eat this. Brambles? I will not. They're full of thorns. Uh, these thorns are full of water, you know. I don't even feel the thorn. That was a close call, Hearty. That rabid warthog was about to bite you. He was? But who are you? Come, come. Don't you recognize me? I'm your brother. Parker! Let's hug trunks, dear brother. You are not Parker. You are Sheer Khan. <laughs> Possible! I pushed you over the edge! Everyone seems to be having hallucinations these days! Hearty! Do you recognize me? Well, yes. You're a warthog. Who looks awfully like Mowgli. <laughs> <laughs> Darling! Children! I'm cured! We prefer you like this, Daddy. Why don't we go back to the marsh for a rest? The real marsh this time. <sighs> Cursed crocodile. Uh, master, you've got rid of Hearty. You can't say I don't deserve a bone this time. Wait and see what you deserve, you and your stupid ideas. <laughs> master! Master! It's much more serious than I thought. 
Our tree's covered in a kind of fungus that's suffocating it. But it's not going to die, is it? <gasps> I don't know, Mowgli. But for the moment, we'll have to find another place to sleep. I promise that we'll do everything to save it. It's always been our tree. You can trust Baloo. He knows lots of remedies. But the tree will not get better quickly. Should I look for another place to sleep for the three of us? Yes, unfortunately. At least for a while. Huh. So, are you ready for a bout with me, eh? Come on, come on! I'm waiting for you. Oh, hello, Ricky. I'm sorry, but I don't really feel like playing. What's the matter? Our tree is withering. Oh, yeah? That doesn't matter. There are lots of other trees. Yes, but that's ours. Mine. Baloo and Bagheera's. I grew up in that tree. Wait, wait, wait. I can show you some great places where you'll sleep really well. Really? I'm going to show you a place with a fantastic view. You're not the only one interested, but if you want it, I can make sure you get priority right now. Where is it? Well, you see, I wasn't lying. Pretty impressive, eh? Impressive, but very, very small. It's not small, it's compact. It would be a bit of a crush for the three of us. Uh, you've got to decide what you want. If you want a great view, you've got to climb a bit. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, Bagheera. You will. Keep trying. I'm sure you'll be able to save our tree. Have you seen how original it is? You really can't be tall. I mean, it's really very low. Ah! Where are you? I slept! I'm in a hole! Here! That's not a hole. It's a sleeping place. Baloo will never get in here. He'll just have to crawl. It'll be good exercise for him. Honestly, this is a great deal and very unusual. Yes, well, maybe it's just a bit too unusual and... Uh, what's that smell? Smell? What smell? <laughs> uh. <coughs> Who on earth lived there before? A uh, polecat, I think. Why? The leaves will stick there all night and tomorrow. When they fall, the tree will be cured. And if they fall straight away? That would mean that it wasn't a good method. <sighs> Where is it? Uh, what is it? It's there, on the rock. How do we get to it? It's very easy. You cross this pond of pure water. You get up in the morning, take a quick little dip in there, and you come out all... Covered in mud? What's more, in the evening when you're talking about a marsh, you're talking about... Mosquitoes! <laughs> and when they sting, we scratch happily. You're too choosy. Find something on your own. I heard your predicament. It's terrible. Baloo Bagheera and I have got to leave our tree. If Shere Khan wasn't so selfish and nasty, you could go live with him. Yes, very funny. Do you think I'd throw myself in your pal's mouth just like that? He's not my pal, just an acquaintance that I use. Do you know what I mean? If the truth be known, I detest him. But on the other hand, I like you, and if I could help you... <sighs> you see the jungle better from the sky. I'll find a good place for you to sleep. You'll see. I have to find another remedy. If the roots also come to the surface, that's a very bad sign. Where's the deer you promised me? It was there. It was just begging to be eaten, but it got away. You are totally hopeless. You are no good to me at all. You just live off my leavings, that's all. Oh, get lost, you feathered fool. <laughs> think that there is a little man-cub who finds himself with nowhere to live. A man-cub who is wandering in the jungle all alone. Well, well. And knowing how helpful you are, I imagine that you have found him something. Yes, a nice place, not very far from here. A place where a tiger could easily hide and surprise a solitary man-cub. Oh, 
Mowgli will never fall into such an obvious trap. It'll be easy, believe me. It's a hopeless plan. Keep your remarks to yourself, Tabaki. It is your plans that are hopeless. Oh. It's your lucky day, man cub. I've found you something. I can get along fine by myself. Ah! Oh. That's a shame. Is it far away? I'm sure he's going to show him something pathetic. The <laughs> traitor! What are you doing there? Yeah, I know you. Do you want to suggest a place to Mowgli too? Mowgli can sleep wherever he wants. It doesn't matter to me. What do you want with Mowgli? What do you think? You see, I didn't lie to you. It's... it's... Incredible! And you haven't seen the inside yet. Go in then, man-cub. First, let me take a look. When I tell Baloo and Baggy, they'll come to see this. Take it from me, you just won't believe what's inside this tent. Well, well, well. So you've changed friends, have you? Ricky! <sighs> just who we needed. Is that all he's found you for a sleeping place? You can see that it's falling apart. Look, it's fine. Don't you know that if Kalu says that it's fine, that means in reality that it's not? What do you know about it? Nothing! If this feathered fibber says something, you always have to believe the opposite. Absolutely not at all! That tiger's a cruel idiot. Everyone knows that. You... There! It's like I said. You are right. Cher Khan is excessively intelligent. What's more, this kind of thing's not stable. The slightest gust of wind and it blows away. Look, no windows. That means even in broad daylight, it's night in there. You see those things? They're no use at all. Look, heave ho! Leave that alone, you stupid fool! <laughs> you say that, but I know you mean the opposite. <gasps> You've got to admit that Ricky's right. It doesn't seem very strong. It is, it is. Go and look inside. Hey, Tabaki! Oh. Are you there too? Come on, you can give us your opinion. <laughs> Tabaki! Come and help me! Get out of it yourself. You're the one who's so clever. Hey, that's enough. Break it up, you guys. <laughs> If you'd let me in on your plan, Mowgli would already be inside. Which of you two is Shere Khan's favourite? <laughs> oh, what stupid idiots! Wait for me, Master. All oh, that's Kalu's fault. I'll get you out of there. I said this wasn't the right place for you. You're right. And the occupier didn't seem too pleasant. Wait! Let me help you! Master, remember that Kalu called you a cruel idiot! <laughs> Baggy? I didn't find anything. I'm sorry. Ooh. Don't worry, Mowgli. These flies eat tree fungus. They've saved our tree. Look! Right. It'll be a while before we can live in it again, but it will soon get its strength back. We'll stay around here to keep an eye on its recovery. There. It's ready. It's not too high, not too low, not too light, not too dark, not too damp, but not too dry. It's totally Ricky Ticky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 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 
That sounded empty when it hit, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the last time he did that, he missed the tree he was aiming for and splash! He fell right into the water. <laughs> <laughs> that only happened once. And besides, the ground was really slippery. <laughs> You thief! Give me back my lunch! <laughs> you think that's funny? <laughs> These are mine! I stole them fair and square! I think this fruit is yours, right, Rana? I noticed that Musi ran off with them. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thanks, Mowgli! Can we share? Um, well, I... yeah, I mean... Great, thanks! Wow, he sure is amazing, that Mowgli. And generous, too. He took back those guavas from that little thief and could have kept them both for himself. I can't wait to tell everyone about this. That's enough. I'm fed up with being made fun of all the time. That's over. You'll see. And that's how I earned my lunch. I'm sure going to enjoy... You didn't <gasps> earn anything. Rana, Mowgli was just telling us how. How he made me look like a fool in front of everyone. What? No, that's not what I... Well, I'm off to show you all what Rana's made of. Mowgli, I challenge you to a contest. Whichever one of us brings back one of Kalu's feathers wins. But that's nonsense. Oh, I see. You're just afraid you'll lose. No, I am not. I'm not quite sure that bothering Kalu just for a simple contest is a good idea. Oh, Kalu's not as dangerous as all that. At the worst, they'll get a good peck somewhere. OK, you're on. Well, you can't say I didn't warn you. Can you keep an eye on my lunch, please? You can count on me. This won't take long. We'll see about that. Hey! <laughs> belly when you jump and you should try lifting your feet <laughs> hey i've got you Well, that was close. Hey! If you want some breakfast, go and find it yourself. What's going on? That pesky little monkey was trying to grab Mowgli's fruit. I can see that you take your mission very seriously. Congratulations. Well, that's for sure. Not while I'm on guard. Darzy! Hey, Darzy! Hi, Rana. What are you doing around here? Can you check to see if Kalu is in his nest, please? Uh, I'd like to, but I don't really feel like disturbing him. Yes, but I really must get one of his feathers. Have you gone crazy? No, I challenged Mowgli. I'm the laughingstock of the whole jungle and everyone's rooting for him. If I win, no one will ever laugh at me again. Uh, all right. Well, I don't really get it, but it doesn't sound like much fun. <laughs> I looked everywhere, everywhere, absolutely everywhere, and nobody's in the nest or anywhere else. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, still nothing. Oh, too much 
schnoz. I'll go and get your feather for you. No, that'd be cheating. I've got to do it on my own, otherwise it won't count and people will still make fun of me. <laughs> I, I got it! Well done! Good thing Kalu wasn't... Mowgli? Promise me you won't say anything to Rana about this. It's true that everyone's always making fun of him, so if I can help put a stop to that... That's kind of you, but then why are you taking a feather too? If I lose too easily, Rana will know that I let him win. And besides, I can help Rana and have fun at the same time. <laughs> You can go back to sleep, Baloo. I have it covered. The two of you are making an awful racket. It's impossible to get a decent nap. Ah, that's better. Hmm, much better. <laughs> Someone has been fooling about my nest. I don't know a thing about it. I don't know anything. I'm going to pull your feathers out one by one. I'll tell you everything I know. Everything. I'm catching up to you. <laughs> Go on, Shere Khan. Here they are. Shere Khan? This way, quickly. You can run, but you can't hide. Ah! They've swerved to the right, Shere Khan. You're right behind them. I'm not afraid of you, you nasty raven. Ah! You should be. But you're lucky. It's not you that I want. It's Mowgli. Shere Khan is going to have a feast. Hey, ah! I'm worth ah! as much as Mowgli. You must be joking. You're not even able to steal a feather from me. Mowgli was the one who did it. It was the man cub who robbed my nest, not you. It's me that you want, eh? Then come and get me! What? <laughs> He's got nowhere else to run. This time you've got him, Shere Khan. On your left. <laughs> That means Shere Khan isn't here. You're alone. Oh, really? Do you think so? I've got more than one trick under my wing, little man. One cannot just take my feathers and get away with it. Jakala, luncheon is served. Oh, home delivery. How nice. What do you want in exchange, Kalu? Nothing at all. The pleasure is all mine. Ah, ah. Where do you think you're going, you feather thief? Ah, ah, ah. Lunch time! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> Thanks for your help, Rana. Yes, well, I wasn't really thinking. That's what makes you a real hero. And a true friend. <laughs> Baloo! Baloo! Um, what are you doing, Bagheera? Get me out of here so I can teach this little pest a lesson. <laughs> he snarfed down your guava, even though I watched over it. You have to believe me. I had it covered, but he's a sharp one. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, just, just like, like a monkey. A monkey. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're back then. How did it go? Who won? Oh, so now you wake up? Didn't you hear me calling you? No, these little anti-noise corks are quite efficient. But, well, I thought that you had it covered, as you say. Ah, I'm just in time. You see, I told you. So, Mowgli, tell me how you won. I imagine that poor Rana just wasn't up to it. Sorry to disappoint you, Icky, but there is no winner. Really? It looks like you've got one of Kalu's feathers and not Rana's. Yes, but if I won, it's only because Rana saved my life. He's the real hero. Oh? I'll tell you all about it. It was great. 
I'll come along with you. I've got to hear this. Hey, hey, what about me? Ah! Hey! Oh. In the jungle book. <laughs> 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 Get flattened or fall into the chasm. Get flattened or fall into the chasm. What did the servant have against you? Um, he's after my secret tamarind stash, but I wasn't going down without a fight. By playing dead? Well, the truth is, I got scared and bolted. I'm just a big bonehead. Yes, and you're a big wuss, and a weakling, and lots of other things that start with W. It's easy for you to call people names when you're safely in your tree. <laughs> Ash is right. I'm nothing but a loser. You just need a bit more self-confidence, that's all. If only I were a wolf too, my life would be so much easier. <laughs> but warthogs are good at lots of things too. Like swimming, yes. There's no point in trying to make me feel better. I'm the biggest loser of all the warthogs in the jungle. <laughs> Everything scares me at the moment. <laughs> can we help? I, I, I don't know. You can help me to, uh, to, um, oh! Yes, 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 yes! Huh? Become a wolf! <laughs> <laughs> what a stupid, ridiculous idea! You're not going to seriously help this big oaf become a wolf! <laughs> See? It's totally pointless. He's a lost cause. You're wrong, Fiona. Tolerance and team spirit, Fiona. That's also what wolves are about. Rana needs our help to get his self-confidence back. What? But, Rana, if you can make it to the top of the Golden Mountain all by yourself and howl like a wolf, you can run with the wolves for one whole day. Yes, 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 yes! Rule number one, to become a wolf, you have to run with the great strength and... I know, I know! <laughs> ...without making a sound. Oh, I didn't know that. <sighs> it's up to me to make sure that Rana is never allowed to run with the wolf pack. Rule number two, you've got to know how to howl. That's the only way other worlds can find you, if you get lost or something. I've come to make a deal, Shere Khan. Um, I want you to get rid of Rana for me. What's in it for me? Mowgli. I like it. Meet me on the bridge tomorrow morning. I'll bring you the Warthog. Third and final rule. To be a real wolf, you've got to be agile and know how to leap over any obstacles. <laughs> I didn't want to miss that. You're not ready to become a wolf. You jump like a lump. Marsha is right. How am I ever going to climb that mountain? I'll never be strong, nimble and brave. It's too hard. You must believe in yourself and overcome your fear. You are ready. You have the strength within you. Hmm. <laughs> You're mine now. Leave me here. I've got to do this on my own. Are you sure? You've done everything you can. Now it's up to me. <laughs> this 
this mission is too impossible. How am I supposed to get anywhere with my little legs? I'm a lump. A lump. You have the strength within you. <laughs> Quite mistaken. You've given me a much better idea. Thanks to you, we're going to put an end to both Rana and Mowgli. Huh? How are you going to give me the man cub and the warthog? The pack will easily leap over this hole, but the clumsy warthog will be lagging behind and will fall into the chasm. Mowgli will fall into your claws. That's music to my ears. I did it! Oh, I did it! <laughs> <laughs> We're proud of you, Rona. Welcome. You have truly earned a day with the wolves. Let's go hunting! I'm a wolf! I'm a wolf! I'm a wolf! Be spotted. Remember rule number one. Be able to run without making a sound. Go on without us. We'll take a short break. Being a wolf is wearing me out. Action stations. Help! The pain! Oh, the pain! Quick! Oh, sorrow! Oh, oblivion! I'm in pain! <laughs> it's a trap! Oh, no, no, no! Sheer Khan! I'm not a wolf! I'm not a wolf! I'm a big chicken! A loser! <laughs> <laughs> Save Mowgli or play dead! Save Mowgli or play dead! Oh, no, 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 no! You won't get me that easily! Two birds with one stone. It was well worth the wait to get rid of both Rana and Mowgli. could never have done that. I promise I'll never call you a lump again, or I'll be a monkey's uncle. You sure are one brave warthog. Come out of hiding, Fiona. We know this was all your idea. Shere Khan is as useless as Rana. Because of him, I've still got to put up with you two. Rana saved our lives. We'd all be dead if he hadn't stepped in. And it was all because that two-faced Fiona set a trap for us. Well, someone had to fight for the pack's dignity. Imagine taking in a warthog on top of the man cub. Congratulations, Rona. You are the bravest of warthogs and deserve to be an honorary wolf. As for you, Fiona, you deserve to be severely punished. Rana is going to spend a day teaching you a thing or two about courage and dignity. We're going to smash into trees. 
So, little wolf, to charge, you run forward, put your head down, and don't think twice. Now it's your turn. Take a good run up. What's the matter? Can't you hear the toads? Ah, oh, that? Yes, a bit. You're joking. They've been making a racket all night and you... you slept through it. Do you want me to take a look? Maybe that'd help you to go back to sleep. Yes, thank you, Mowgli. Calm down, Bagheera. Try and get some sleep instead. <laughs> My children, they've gone! Gone? Gone where? Why? Is that what's stopping you from getting rid of all these toads for us? I'm not bothered. <laughs> it's all my fault. Me and my stories about the great rainbow-colored crocodile. The great rainbow-colored crocodile? <laughs> it's a fable, a legend. Except that when I told them it, it seemed so true. <laughs> then my kids decided to go and look for him. Well, then, you just need to go and find them and explain. Impossible. This story about the great rainbow-colored crocodile is for children. But if I admit that it is just a legend, they'll never trust me again. You can tell them that it was just a nice story. If not, it doesn't matter. Let them have their adventure, then. I can't. I miss them too much. So go and find them. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't. I'm crying too much. I can't see for the tears. I can't see their tracks. OK, if I go and find your children, will you deal with the toads? <sighs> Ugh, I can't get to sleep with your big fat fingers in my ears. My fingers aren't fat. They're strong. Don't tell me. My dad sent you because he doesn't think we'll find a great rainbow-colored crocodile. Hey, hi there. You don't say hi there. You say, hello, Chomper. How are you today? Hello, Chomper. How are you today? Where are your brothers? Answer A. I'm fine. Answer B. My brothers are idiots. Without me, they've got no chance of finding the great rainbow-covered crocodile. Do you always talk like that? I am not talking. I am expressing my thoughts. All right. Well, you're going to express your thoughts to your father because I'm taking you back home. Oh, no, you're not, because you will need me to find my brothers. All right, if you're so clever, where are they? When are we going to eat? Quiet, I'm thinking. I don't like thinking, and I don't like being lost. We're not lost. I feel that the great rainbow-coloured crocodile is not far away. <laughs> There's no trace of them, and this is such a dangerous place. Your brothers have never been here. You're a little liar. I'm not little, I'm slim. And I didn't lie. I tested your courage and endurance in order to see if I could trust you. Are all your brothers like you? Oh no, I'm the easiest one to get along with. Did you take care of the toads at last? I'll deal with them when Mowgli brings back my children. <laughs> my little darlings. Mowgli told us he was going to find them. And that you'd been telling your kids stories about the great rainbow-colored crocodile. That's why they left, wasn't it? Ha! You don't know what it's like to bring up children. That reminds me of the time that Biter ate... Uh, no, no, it wasn't Biter. It was Chompa. No, no. Yes, that's it. Girls Tell guns. us the legend about this great crocodile instead. Ah, yes. I'd like that. Once upon a time. I'm really hungry and I'm really tired. And the more really tired I am, the really hungrier I get. We can't be far away now. I don't like being far away. <sighs> I know. We'll take a nap here. Are there any animals who are nasty to crocodiles in the jungle? No one is nastier than a crocodile. How about two crocodiles? <laughs> I protest! A crocodile!
Squirrel never travels through the jungle in this fashion. Oh. Ah! Auntie! Ah! Stop! They're running away! What are Jakala's children doing in the middle of nowhere? They're looking for a mythical beast that they call the Great Rainbow-Colored Crocodile. The Great Rainbow-Colored Crocodile. Why not the Great Red Crocodile with green spots? <laughs> when you finish joking around with the big grey clumsy thing, maybe you'll decide to run after my brothers. A magnificent opportunity, Master. Mowgli is searching for the little crocodiles who are looking for the great rainbow-coloured crocodile without knowing what it looks like. Is that all? If you pretend to be the great rainbow-colored crocodile, they will come to see you, and when Mowgli comes to find them... They'll all be in my stomach. Exactly. And Mowgli will follow. Yes, I can see it now. After the starter, the main course. But what can a great rainbow-colored crocodile look like? The great rainbow-colored crocodile looked at the moon and decided to build a staircase of stars to reach it. Why don't you knock him out and be done with it? Legends are useful and tell us a lot about our history. They also help the young to grow and understand the difference between true and false. When you finish smiling stupidly, you'll maybe go and get the little crocs. Ow! There! Tracks! A crocodile does not leave tracks. He leaves his mark. <sighs> I can feel that we're not far now. Hey, kids. What are you doing there? We're looking for the great rainbow-colored crocodile. Oh, well, that's lucky. I know exactly where he is. Follow me. I told you you could trust me. Handsome, isn't he? Our, uh, the great rainbow-colored crocodile. I don't like him. You wouldn't have something to eat, great rainbow-colored crocodile. I'm hungry. Shh! You don't talk to the great croc like that. The great rainbow-colored croc is listening. Oh, great rainbow-colored croc, show us the path to crocodilitude. Are you worthy of taking the path to the crocodilitude? Oh, yes! Approach and enter here. Do you mean that we've got to enter your mouth? That is the path of crocodilitude. They found the great croc. Quick, untie me and let me join them! Shh! It's a trap! It's Shere Khan! That's not true! You're lying because you don't believe the legend and you don't want it to be true! All right. You were right, for once, but I must go and help them. All right. You go and take the place of one of your brothers and then drive the tiger to distraction. You know how to do that. True. That is one of my many talents. Master, don't you think it would be better to wait for Mowgli before eating them? I want to make the most of it while they're here. We'll see about the man cub later. Oh, bother. You managed to find us. It wasn't difficult, and I've got some important questions for the great rainbow-colored croc from our dad, Grand Croco. I'd like to know why you have whiskers. Uh. It's because I'm very old. And why have you got soft fur when crocodiles all have hard skin? When the great rainbow-colored croc goes into the water, his skin becomes like a crocodile's again. Follow me. We'll have something to eat before we reach crocodilitude. Good idea. I'm starving. Master, I think there's a problem. Well done. <laughs> My little crocs! We've had loads of adventures. I don't like adventures. I brought them back safe and sound, but it wasn't easy. Uh, Mowgli helped me a bit. Your father didn't dare tell you the truth, but... What? what? He is the real rainbow-colored crocodile. He is? I knew it. <laughs> is it 
show that you're the great rainbow-coloured croc? Uh, uh, I'll tell you all about the great rainbow-coloured crocodile when we've got rid of all the toads. No more toads. We'll all be able to sleep in peace. <laughs> <laughs>